So, now it's real fun to show the wins. Sometimes you gotta show the losses too. Well, I'll show you my trailer out of the truck quick. It's decent. That was definitely a win. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. So this morning, one of my customers, good guy who I've did some tree work for, fertilizing, and he had a bunch of furniture we wanted to get rid of, and he's got, I had gotten a wrought iron patio set that I sold for a lot of money. So uh, he'd been wanting some of this stuff out for a while. So I went out to get it. And I hooked up the trailer. At the, I mean, it was a half hour ordeal just to get that one out of the truck by myself, get this hooked up. Anyway, I go out there and, you know, this stuff, I'm, whatever. That's decent, Thomasville. My sister's gonna take that. Thomasville when it was Missouri. Now it's Chinese shit. But anyway, this is what I really wanted. Not for myself, but, um, you know, this is all, this was handmade wrought iron in the late 60s in uh, Woburn, Massachusetts. His mom had it made, and uh, Bob's in his 60s, early 60s. Anyway, the one concern I had was the glass top. Now, I, you know, <laughs> what do you do? It's on rubber bumpers, so I wrapped it in drop cloths a couple times, strapped it, and uh, strapped the chairs, strapped the table. Everything felt solid, and the glass broke. I stopped in town, he's one town over, but I stopped in town in Rutland to get some fuel, and I'm looking at the table, and I'm like, son of a bitch. And there it is, and uh, the only good thing maybe is didn't shatter, it broke in what looked like three pieces, so I'm gonna bring it to this uh, glass place in town that I actually just did, actually it's not in town, it's almost there. They just did my uh, windshield on one of the trucks over there. Let's see if they'll cut me a new piece. And uh, then I'll try selling it. So that sucks. You know, I mean, I got it all for free. And this um, obviously gonna scrap, which is worth nothing, but whatever. But anyway, you know, it's not my style. It's not my wife's style. It doesn't go with our house, which is more, I guess you'd call it farmhouse country theme. This is definitely a 1960s Italian or something like that. But someone would want it. Someone does want it, I'm sure, but they're not gonna want it with a smash top. So I was bullshit. Anyway, like I say, put the wins and put the losses on too. That was nice. so I probably could have gotten it all in the truck, but I'm nervous. I should have just left it and back in the floor and got it because he's only 20 minutes away. And I got an exhaust leak somewhere in here. Where that muffler, I don't know if it's blown out a bit. Head pipe is fine, but I can hear it wisping right through the cab. It's annoying. Look at that wire harness right there, too. Anyway, it never ends. But yeah, that sucks. It's a nice set, and it weighs a ton. Very, very heavy. So. Anyway, I'll, I'm sure I'll get something for it, but it won't be the, you know, 100% profit that you obviously always go for. On to the next one.